Good morning. It's March the 24th, 2017. Time to kick off another trading day. We'll start with our usual disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as the lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact <coughs> that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. A mouthful for sure. Okay, I, uh, I alluded to Groundhog Day as we were testing the mic. And why would I say that? Ryan Care, well that's pretty, is back with us. And Trump has said pass it or not. If you don't pass it, we're moving on to tax reform and Obamacare stays in place. Uh, that's an ultimatum. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff built up around this. The uh, Ryan Care bill, as it is right now, repeals Obamacare only in name, keeps most of the features, keeps most of the bad things that are in it. Um, it's a bad bill. Trump has said, well, this is just the first one that's going to come through. Keep a campaign promise. Two and three will rectify all the problems that we have in Ryan Care. I mean, given what goes on in Washington, D.C. today, if Ryan Care passes, do you think there's going to be easy to uh, get number two and three through? Uh, probably not. Probably not. So that's what we face today. Uh, the news overnight, Asia, biggest news out of Asia was uh, the dollar was higher. Uh, Japan said no need to change their current um, central bank policy and China says their banking system has enough liquidity no problems there uh, the economic news out of uh, Europe across the board beat the expectations both manufacturing and services even France's numbers were up um, so and their market sold uh, the Asian markets rallied so today the focus will be the direction of the ES and that's probably down to Ryan care right there Okay, we have news that normally would impact the market. Durable orders plus 1.5 percent. X transportation plus 0.8. Core capital goods plus 0.5. PMI manufacturing 54.3. Services 53.9. And Baker Hughes rig count, 1065 and 768 for the U.S. The U.S. number could be larger than forecast. That has been the pattern. So the focus will be durable orders, X transportation, maybe PMI manufacturing, doubt it, and then Baker Hughes rig count. Uh, that does impact the market and then Ryan care so these two will be the biggies durable orders X transportation no matter what it is the market probably goes on hold to see what if Ryan care will pass and right now they don't have the votes for it to pass um, option expiration uh, yesterday's play in the 10 year was 24 even to 25 so that makes it a close at 24 16 the most profitable for the option market makers um, and at 150 for the well we'll do the 30 year when we get there so this is where the mathematical close uh, for options is today so our first sell is 15 to 19 followed by 23 27 on the buy side we'll go 4 to 8 going to play for a trading range today and then 29 to 01 for buy two. Sorry Chuck, forgot that switch. Pilot error. Now you see why half the airplane accidents are pilot error. 
Sorry, folks, I apologize for that. Got it erased everything that I had up there. What the hell? 15 to 19, cell 1. 23, 27, cell 2. On the buy side, 4 to 8, buy 1. And buy 2, 01 to 29. Twenty three to twenty seven would be the preferred, but we may not get may not be able to get through twenty. Looking at the thirty year. Okay, uh one forty nine to one fifty one was the play yesterday in options on the thirty year. So that would give us a mathematical close at 150. It looks like right now the market's going to try to close in this 150.16 area. That's where the play is. So resistance is 20 to 24. Sell 1, 27 to 31. Like that trade. 3 to 7. Sell 2. Now, if the E-mini breaks uh, hard today, well, we, we're, we're going to let our shorts ride. We're going to move them up. Right now the E-mini is pointed down a little bit. K uh, 8 to 12 is number 1. So 1 to 5 by 1. And 21 to 25 by 2. Gold held in overnight. It was a dollar lower than yesterday's close. Uh, markets were really actually pretty quiet last night. A lot going on. So we've got this break at uh, 12.35. Um, we've got this last rotate down here at 39 to 40. And that's what it's holding right over this little area right here structurally. So the market breaks out. And rallies and you've got this little band of support and you've got this little band of support right here so support is 40 to 37 and we had a 40 42 buy last night and that worked out just fine so 40 42 buy one uh, I think we're going to try to trade up uh, structurally right here you could have a sell at 46 uh, so we'll put out 48 to 50 and then 54 56 where we were yesterday for sell 2 on the buy side uh, we'll have 35 37 for buy number 2 Looking at the euro, economic news out of Europe was good last night. All good, nothing bad. Like I said, even France made money. Uh, we had a 108 even, 108.10 buy. And uh, we looks like we have a low in the 108.05, 108.07 area. Uh, we blew right through our cell. Our cell was uh, 35 to 45. And that's where it got taken out right there. So uh, right now we're at 108.50. So 50 to 60, sell one. 75 to 85, let them get stops above that level, sell two. On the buy side, 25, buy one. 50 holes, we got a pretty good shot of getting back down to 25. Then 108, 108, 10, buy two. Crude oil. 
Okay, the article out overnight saying that um, they would not reduce inventory overhang uh, by June 30th this year, and they've been talking about that all year. All year. That's not new news. Uh, the issue is, will Saudi Arabia, Russia, Kuwait, those that can, cut production? Uh, 4850 is still the number. Uh, we have very little range overnight, as you can see. Not much going on. Uh, yesterday we had a buy at um, 75 to 48 even. We're right in that buy zone right now, so we'll make it 47.50, 47.75. Buy one, we'll lower it. 47 even, 47 and a quarter. Buy two. I think we can trade up here a little higher. You can see the market needs volume right in this area. So maybe get up so we'll make 48 and a quarter, 48.50, sell one. 75 to 49, sell two. Um, the volatility has really come in quite a bit on crude. That's why we're really paying a lot more attention to gold these days. Gold's got three and a half days a week of news, which can increase the volatility. And crude is really, um, I don't know why. Everybody says the um, speculator is so long, the hedge funds are all long crude and not backing away. And um, Saudi Arabia invited all the major oil traders to a big conference, and they've been on the long side ever since. I wonder what Saudi Arabia told them. And that meeting that has kept them long. Okay, the E-mini. Um, like I said, Groundhog Day. Uh, yesterday everything was predicated on um, Obama care, Ryan care vote, and uh, the vote did not take place. That brought in selling late. Uh, everything is overhyped. You know, everybody, you know, Trump's presidency revolves or spins on whether he can get this bill passed or not. If he can't get this bill passed, he won't get other bills passed. Uh, that's not true. Uh, but today, I mean, we're going to have to, we're having Ryan Care hang over the market again. And um, I doubt seriously if they'll pass it early in the morning. So that's probably going to be out there. And that, to, to me, this going to tend to hold us in a trading range. My guess is they can't pass it. And that Trump is moving on. He's expended all his um, capital, that political capital he wants to on that one. Durable orders, plus 1.5. X-transportation, plus 0.8. Core capital goods, plus 0.5. They'd really like to see a jump in core capital goods. PMI manufacturing, 54.3. Services, 53.9. And Baker Hughes rig count, 1065. That number could be lower, 768. That number could be higher for the U.S. rig count. And again, it just shows you the magnitude of our economy compared to the rest of the world. This is Mexico and Canada. And Canada's got more going than Mexico does. So uh, the focus for the E-mini is going to be durable orders, X-transportation, and the passage of Ryan Care, and because Ryan Care comes late uh, in the probably late in the day, if at all, uh, my guess is we're stuck in a range. So I'd be happy to sell 49s to 51s. Uh, may have to get short in the uh, 45, 47 area. We'll put a question mark there. Uh, the market will be subject to news spikes on where the vote is. 54, 56 for sell two. On the buy side, uh, 4139, buy one, and 3537, buy two. 
Okay, it's going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. Get busy on that. I'll be back with you as soon as possible.